Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Today I have a neutral toned dining room to show you and I also did a foyer which I'm standing in right now. So typically when you go into like um, larger houses and stuff, the dining room is always separate from the kitchen. So I thought it would be nice. This is going to be like a pseudo entrance to what would be like another room like the kitchen. And this is the foyer into the dining room and the dining room is relatively large with some wine racking on the walls and a couple shelving features so the foyer itself I wanted to give a little bit of lighting and just a little bit of subtle decoration to the outsides and I thought this would do good uh, I, I wanted to do it a little sporadic nothing too consistent because the dining room is so consistent and symmetrical so I just did a painting on this side and a little bookshelf on this side with some shelving areas I also did like a small type bench or stool that would be located around a little sconce and a little plant in the corner as well as a shelf and some centered lighting for the ceiling. I went ahead and started to go up and gave a little bit of trim to the hallway and then I went into a little bit larger set. So uh, the shelving unit, I wanted it kind of modern even though I can't really stack anything on these shelves. It's a cool little shelving unit that I thought about by searching some modular designs for dining rooms and I thought it came out really really good I did a couple paintings just to incorporate some type of decoration a little bit more uh, texture and color and then also went around all the way around the top and did almost like I, I don't have any big windows in the dining room so I thought I would add a little bit of sunlight to it and it came out really really well so for the wine racking I started out with a stripe and I wanted it to be just like a modern stripe to give the room some character and I decided to add the fence post behind that on a second layer and then on a third layer the hardened stained clay behind there and it comes out really really good the Sortex fanware pack uh, has the it doesn't really have a good stained clay, but I'm using the Flows HD stained clay in this Sortex Fanbear Invictus <laughs> kind of matchup that I have for a resource pack, and it does a real good job. I wanted to put a little bit of things, almost like some drink stations or some uh, food stations on the sides. Uh, put a little cake there and a little cup, and this side I have a brewing stand, or they could be like a coffee pot or something like that, along with a spare pot, maybe a serving pot or a chafing dish, and a little cup. And this is just like a, a separate little seating area, almost somewhere where once you get back from the table, if you don't want to sit at the table and you just want to stay around everybody that's visiting the dining table to go here. Now the, the table and chairs I did uh, much different. A little back, I was playing around with a couple of the guys and we were trying to decide how table chairs should go uh, when the table is one high. And it really all depends on how, how high your room is. I really like to do one and a half high tables, but that requires the floor to be on the half slab. And this floor is using sand and hardened clay in a cool little pattern. So I couldn't really do that. And I wanted the chairs a little bit different. So I decided to go with this pattern. I went with one sideways stair and one regular stair, and then I capped it off with a, an item frame and a stair in the item frame to show a bracket and I just positioned them uh, a little bit differently the room is even by odd so it worked out pretty good and it makes a really cool design around the table and all you see under here is barrier blocks you could have easily just used string but I had barrier blocks available so I decided to use it and I did stairs here as like the table legs now the table legs I thought would be really really cool and it came it came out good it, it kind of you can't really see it with the chairs in the way but it's subtle and it acts like it doesn't really connect except for the chairs so it still shows the definition of the chair and the definition of a table leg and that's exactly what I wanted um, but that's about it you guys except for the light fixture I wanted something that was a little bit majestic but not like a chandelier so I decided to do a handy a hanging light fixture with the dark oak wood and four glowstone and it came out really good and I did like some large bracketing if I would have thought about it, the I could have done the the table the this way in the room and the the fixture this way in the room as well. And I could have went five and separated these two brackets, but alas, it can't always be perfect. But anyway, I think it came out really good, and I hope you guys like it. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.